Hey everybody, Mindset here, owner of Team Critical Reaction. Um, normally you guys get to see me from right here, with that being the back wall. Today, you guys are actually on the foosball table, because um, we just received this little package here, and um, I think we should take a look and see what's inside. What do you guys think? This might be hint number one of uh, today's video. So, um, let's see what we got. else excited? Today's a good day. <clears throat> As I've said in earlier videos, today is <clears throat> our fiscal year. So we get to announce new sponsors. And one of those new sponsors just so happens to be one of my absolute favorite companies in the world, Mad Cats. <clears throat> one second here, guys. So for all you guys know, and if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I absolutely am obsessed with my setup and having super clean wires. Mad Cats was kind enough to send me, which I was really surprised with, um, this beautiful uh, keyboard, absolutely gorgeous, the Strike 7, um, as well as their Rat TE, which is their tournament edition um, mouse. And uh, we're going to actually hook these up with you guys here um, and remove this junk that I've got already on here and take my setup from what I consider good to absolutely incredible. Um, and we're going to walk you guys through what I'm going to be doing and why um, because I personally think that uh, one, Mad Cats makes incredible stuff. Maybe you guys don't know but I'm kind of obsessed with them. I actually have three sticks by Mad Cat for fighting games. First and foremost, I of course have the Chun-Li. <clears throat> you gotta love the Chun-Li. I mean, come on. Then, we actually have the TE2 Killer Instinct for the Xbox One. And in the back room over there, which unfortunately hasn't been set up in a while, uh, because I don't play my Xbox 360 anymore, uh, I do have a Soul Calibur 4, uh, or Soul Calibur 5 Fight Stick TE. Um, absolutely love it. Think it's phenomenal. Um, the TE that's in there is was my first fight stick ever. Um, from then on, and I actually got a really good deal on it on Amazon. Um, and then I couldn't stop. I had to keep getting them for every console that I had. Uh, nowadays, you know, back then they didn't really have the um, the converters and everything, um, or even the boards that allow for you to have multiple things, but. I really like supporting Mad, Mad Cats. Ah, I love their products. So we finally were able to get partnered up with them. And I think this unboxing is gonna be fantastic. Uh, we've got a little bit more to do because we are gonna set up the system and this whole setup here uh, and make it look all crispy. Um, and show you guys a couple of the tricks of the trade here that I use to, uh, to get all this set up. So let's get started. My wife creeped in on me, shooting a video. She thinks I'm a nerd. Oh wow, so <clears throat> guys, just so you guys know, this is absolutely beautiful box. Um, wow, they even did send me over the Venom touchscreen interface, it looks like, I think, wow. Um, <clears throat> so let's get into here. What happened to my scissors? how you open it. I don't know how you open it. Oh. I know how you open it. You have to have an IQ a little bit higher than mine. I didn't fart, I promise. Assembly guide. Oh wow, this is actually really nice. So they hook it up with uh, all pictures of how to set it up. This is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. How beautiful is that? Okay, we're gonna need to set this off to the side because I don't know what I'm doing yet. First and foremost, 
Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. So we can bring this stuff in. And we have to get rid of this junk that's already here. Well, let's get rid of that first, huh? What do you think? So, underneath here, well, let's get you guys with me. So for those of you guys that uh, have seen my setup before, I hate wires. Hate them. They make me crazy. I keep everything nice and tight underneath the, ta underneath the table here. Uh, I actually use, these are called coaxial staples, and they, um, they keep everything placed. They're just tacked in under the table. Uh, I actually also have created a hole here in the table so that my m mouse and keyboard can go underneath, and uh, and there's no um, no really showing wires. That kind of stuff makes me a little bit crazy. So <clears throat> I'm gonna actually have to take a lot of this apart um, to make all this work. I think that we might probably do a little fast motion stuff here momentarily. Uh, just so that you guys can um, not see me putzing, so to speak. So let's get to that. The old goes away and in with the new. So <clears throat> let's see what we got. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff here. <clears throat> so first and foremost, this is the main keyboard. Wow, that is, that's crispy. So I had a mechanical keyboard before, and many of you could hear me tight. That's, that's already a huge improvement. So that bad boy will be right about there. Oh my. Then we've got Looks to be the right side. How interesting. Huh. That just snaps in place, huh? So, this is cool. So the Strike 7, it comes in pieces. It's, you know, obviously. Uh, let's get you guys moved over a little bit. So, <clears throat> in here, for the record, I'm not wearing a CR shirt because I don't want to give anything away yet. But there's actually this cool little bar here and this piece here. They'll clip in together, just like that. And there's going to be a screw that I find in here somewhere in a little bag, I'm sure, that will, um, that will get me to tie all this in a little bit tighter. I'm probably going to need a screwdriver or something along those lines. It actually might just be a hand, hand tie. We'll have to check that out. Wow, that is cool. Guys, I'm really excited about this. Um, ooh, they even come with little twist ties. Wow, that braided. Um, <clears throat> so, um, the, the actual wire for this is already braided, um, and it looks absolutely beautiful. That's awesome. We're gonna have to figure out what all that stuff does real soon. This I saw on the box. This was the, um, the extra buttons. Oh, beautiful. What? Oh my gosh, they're gonna match my setup. That is so cool. So yeah, guys, um, <clears throat> it comes with extra batches of buttons, um, basically for your uh, WASD and for your direction keys over here. Um, we'll get to that here in a little bit though, so that we can get the rest of this set up. There's the screws we were looking for. I was worried that I would need a screwdriver. And you know what? They thought of everything. Um, <clears throat> so you guys know, I, I've never opened this box before. I've never opened a Mad Cat's controller before, or a um, keyboard before. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna need um, any type of tools. But right here, 
is actually the piece I'm going to need to use these screws which keeps all of this together. So that is awesome. Now, let's figure out the rest. Hey guys, I figured it'd be best if um, we skipped the rest of what I had recorded and kind of just got you guys to the end. Because um, it was turning into a really long video, I didn't want to go too long-winded. I uh, want to just touch on the, the mouse uh, that they sent over, which is that Rat TE, which is just killer. Um, and then we can kind of close up shop. It was getting a really long video. So, the Rat... TE, absolutely super light mouse, um, absolutely in love with it. I got a little bit of, to play around with it. Um, <clears throat> real clean, real crispy. Uh, I absolutely adore it at the moment. Um, I gotta say, it's it looks really low profile, which is something I don't like is the low profile mouse, but this little piece right here actually bumps your hand up a whole lot and allows for it to sit really clean. So I'm a big fan of it, so love that. Um, we did get all the wires ran. I'm going to show you guys that right now um, underneath <laughs> before what else I show you here. So everything's all cleaned up now, um, all tucked in. Uh, this is that rack that I was talking about before and all of the coaxial uh, staples. Uh, I even have my Elgato actually hooked up here underneath. Um, I think that's kind of neat. So everything's all wired up and let's, uh, let's take a full on look. So for the Strike 7, I before didn't know what this was. I've come to realize that this is actually a, uh, a riser for your wrist. So when your fingers are on WASD, um, it holds it here really nice and sits really clean. Before, I was kind of wondering why the, the space bar looked like this. I'm like, I get it, cool, whatever. But it's actually for purpose. So this is right where your thumb tends to lay. So if it was just a flat piece across, your thumb wouldn't be able to even reach. You'd be reaching way up here, and then your hand would be out of whack. But because they are very smart over at uh, Mad Cats, I have to give them props. Putting that right there for your thumb, it lays up perfect for me. The display module here is super cool. has a ton of features, totally customizable. allows you to even select games. Uh, and they pull up automatically on the screen for you. You've got your macro portion here on the side. Obviously the numbers, um, everything else here. So really, really cool. I'm going to do a full explanation of everything that this does later in another video. But right now, I just wanted you guys to see the general setup. So love you guys at Mad Cats. Thank you so very much. I know some boxes over here are going to be shipping out tomorrow. Uh, so we appreciate all that you've done for us. Absolutely love you guys. Thank you.